Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to be switching it up today. I'm going to be taking a look at a 120 watt LED floodlight from Biblite, so stay tuned. I just want to start out by saying that when I ordered this, I was hoping to use it to replace one of my old portable 300 watt work lights. Um, that is not the case. When I got this, I, maybe I should read directions a little more carefully, but uh, this is not a close up. Here is what I was hoping to replace. And I guess you can use this as a size comparison. This thing is massive, so that pretty much just shot my plan. Not in my house. Okay, so it's going to be dark soon, and what I want to do is actually want to get this up and tested, but I want to compare it against my exterior floodlights that I have in my backyard. And there are the smaller floodlights, pretty much the same size as the portable floodlight that I showed you, and they're rated about 150 watts apiece, whereas this is only rated about 120 watts, so you're talking about energy savings there. Um, but I'm not going to wire it up to my house just yet. I actually want to test it to make sure, you know, first of all, it doesn't catch on fire, and for two, that it actually works. Um, and I'm going to be wiring it with this. I'm going to just plug it in the extension cord and just pretty much compare it to those two lights so let's begin so if you're in the US you may or may not know that our wiring colors are different from the bib light wiring colors they've got yellow green what they consider a red and a blue and what they equate to is that the the blue is your according to bib light it's going to be your your null wire for us that's going to be your white neutral wire this is their live wire their red is going to be their live wire which for us is going to be the black wire uh, for the yellow and green, they're saying it's your ground wire, and for us, it's going to be a green wire. Um, but you know, I flipped this over and I saw these heat sinks here. Look at these heat sinks. These things are massive. So either this thing runs really hot where it needs these heat sinks, these large heat sinks, or it's just a way to just keep it really cool. Um, I imagine with LED, you know, that many watts at 120 watts, it will get quite quite warm or quite hot. Uh, but very very nice touch and it's pretty weighty it probably weighs about 10 or 15 pounds at least uh, this right here is the mounting bracket it does swivel and it rotates or so, uh, for an adjustment to adjust in whatever position that you want but um getting back to the wiring up the plug um i picked this up from my local home improvement store and you know now that we do know the wiring colors and which one they go to which one do they go to on the plug and so well i'm going to wire that up real quick um let me just go ahead and tell you that the green is for the ground it would go like that. And you've got a silver screw. Your silver is always for your white wire. Uh, the way I usually remember that is silver is, looks like a white gold to me. Um, and that's how I usually remember it to wire to the white or the neutral wire. And you have your brass color. And that's for your black or for your live wire. And I remember that usually because black begins with B, obviously, and brass begins with B. So that's how I'm usually able to remember those. Before I begin wiring this up, I'm going to take the plug housing and insert the wire through it. So that way it's just pretty much going to sandwich the wiring as you can see uh, when it goes like that so I'll start with the yellow wire it goes to the green wire since it is a ground the red wire or live wire will go to the brass terminal Give it a good tug again. And finally, the blue wire will go to the silver screw. Once again, give it a good tug. There you have it. Okay guys, so this is what my basement looks like when it's dark. I'm getting ready to turn this light on. And that's how bright it is. I have no doubt that this is going to be brighter than my floodlights outside. I have no doubt at all. That's extremely bright.
Okay guys, so before it gets dark, here's what I got going on here. This is my basketball court, uh, where I have my two little 150 watt, uh, and I'm guessing they're 150 watt, they may be closer to 200 a piece, watts a piece, and temporary setup of this bib light um, on the ladder. It's precariously bungee to the ladder, so I hope no big wind comes along, and when it gets a little darker, I'll do a comparison. Okay guys, so it's about 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time. Uh, this is what it all looks like right about now. Uh, pretty much too dark to do anything outside now. Um, and this is going to be pretty much unscripted because I want to see what the light is. You know, I don't want to get an idea ahead of time what the light looks like. So I'm just going to actually show the light as you all see it too. So um, this is the view that I'm going to be viewing from. If you can see anything at all. If I had a flashlight, I'd be able to show you the ground. But there's my basketball go. If you can focus in on that. And this is the court. I was down on the ground there earlier. Okay, so get ready to turn on the the two floodlights that I'm going to plan on replacing. And that's what it looks like with just those two floodlights up there. Pretty bright, pretty bright. I can't, well, I don't know. You know, I saw the light down in the basement and I'm looking at it now and I'm thinking that it might not be brighter than those two lights. That's pretty bright. So we'll just see though. Uh, just I'm gonna just show you a few minutes long or a few seconds longer. That way you kind of get a full, the full range of how bright it is. And I know the BYB bulb is a little lower. The floodlight is a little lower. Um, that's about as high as I can get the ladder without fear, feeling like I'm going to fall to my doom. Okay, the moment of truth. Like I said, this is unscripted, so I do have to reach over and plug this light up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Definitely brighter. Definitely brighter. Oh yeah, I would much rather play basketball with that light as opposed to the two smaller ones. And I'm saving energy to boot. And you know, I noticed that the on the other one, the other two bulbs of the two other two floodlights, I couldn't see that far into the grass, and it's pretty much illuminating my whole backyard. And it just has a really wide, a really wide uh, radius of light. Very impressed, very impressed. And it's even illuminating my neighbor's yards. So that would be something if I do install this, I would definitely have to uh, aim it down a lot more, which would even make it even brighter, I think. So there you go. If a picture's worth a thousand words, what's a video worth to you?